everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we have a day two recap of March Madness. It was another entertaining day. Day one, I got 12 out of 16 games correct. But this one, I got 13 out of 16 better. I was 10 for 10 until um, Virginia lost. And then UConn lost. And then a team loss that was very, very poor for me. That was very bad for me. Um, so, we'll get right into that right now. Gonzaga, Norfolk State. We all know who's going to win that one. Gonzaga just put a huge beating on that one. I, of course, got that right. Oklahoma, Missouri. This was a fun game to watch. Both teams going at it. Trading points. Oklahoma did win it at the end. So, I got that one right as well. Creighton UCSB. This was another fun one. I picked Creighton here and they pulled it out by one point. That was a thriller. Virginia, Ohio. Oh my gosh. Ohio with Jason Preston and Ben Vanderplas. Both those players just exploded at the end of that game. Good for the Ohio Bobcats. They played a heck of a game. Um, and then I had Virginia beating Creighton to go on to the Sweet 16 with Gonzaga, so I also had to cross that off. USC and Drake. That was a good game until USC broke out at the end to win that one. Kansas East Washington, a game that was a, good, a close game the whole game. East Washington bench brought the energy. Um, East Washington played a good game, but Kansas just outlasted them in the end. Oregon VCU, I feel so bad for VCU players, coaches, and fans right now. That game was considered a no contest and canceled, so Oregon automatically advanced. And then Iowa Grand Canyon, Iowa won that, so Iowa, Oregon will play. Michigan and then Texas Southern. Um, Texas Southern just really did not give a fight at all this game. Um... They just could not stop Hunter Dickinson and all those great players on Mich Michigan. Um, so Michigan advances to play LSU. Um, LSU St. Bonavich, a close game in the first half. LSU had a good second half game plan that worked out, and they ended up winning that one. Colorado and Georgetown. <sighs> I was nervous about picking Colorado here because I really did not think that they were going to win that game, but they had creamed them. Well, they beat them by like 23 or something. They just played an all-around great performance. Florida State, UNC Greensboro. Florida State did pull that out. UNCG, giving a good fight again, though. And then I had Colorado beating Florida State, so that should be an interesting one. BYU, UCLA. This is my biggest upset. It was only 11-6, to but I liked UCLA, and they did pull it out over the BYU Cougars. So I'm glad I got that one right. And here's the one that disappointed me when I saw the score. I could not watch the game because of how late it was. But I just saw the first half, and Albaline Christian really was playing good. I thought Texas would come to play in the second half, but no! Texas loses to Albaline Christian in the first round. Look at that. In case you can't see that, I'll put an even bigger X because I had Texas going to the national championship. Yeah, that, that's not good there. So that was my biggest bracket buster so far. Anyway, UConn, Maryland. I really like UConn's chances here, but they could not pull it out, which is a little disappointing. I thought that they could pretty easily win that game over Maryland, but Maryland came to play, and they pulled that out over UConn, and then Alabama, Iona. Iona and Rick Pitino's squad, they gave a good fight against the Crimson Tide, but Bama outlasted them in the end. So a 13 for 16 day, overall another good one. Throughout these first, the round of 64, I missed four of the 32 games, so I got 28 of 32 right. Thank you so much for watching. That is your day two recap of March Madness. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.